Hello, my name is Michaela and I am a second year fifth grade teacher and I'm just letting you know that the video you're about to watch is a classroom setup video from the beginning of my first year of teaching in my first classroom um, from August of last year. I filmed it and then I never finished it at all. I started editing it and then I just left it there to die. Um, but I actually really want to post it still, so I'm just letting you know that that's when it's from. And I am now going into my second year of teaching, um, so actually, if you like classroom setup videos, subscribe because I will be posting another one in about a month as I set up my next classroom. So um, stick around and let's uh, go back in time a little bit. I don't like when people can see me. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. I am so excited to be here today because today is the first day that we're able to go back into the classroom. Um, it's in the middle of August and we haven't been able to go all summer, all spring basically too. Um, and as you can see, I have a ton of stuff to bring. So I'm really excited that we were able to go today because there was a possibility that it was going to get pushed back even more. So back in the spring after the school year, we were able to go back into the classroom and clean up a little bit and take some stuff home if we wanted to. And I took my entire classroom library home because I wanted to work on labeling them and um, organizing them. I did a project over the summer where I scanned all of my classroom library books into an app so I can keep track of all of them. I also bought some things over the summer so I have a lot of stuff to move in and I'm also switching grade levels this year so I'm going from fourth to fifth grade so I have a whole new classroom that I need to set up and put stuff in and I think I need to move stuff from my old classroom to the new classroom and there's just a lot of stuff I need to do so I'm really excited that they finally are letting us in and uh, I will let you know how it goes. So as you can see yeah there's a ton of books here um, also just some other random things, but, uh, yeah, that's what I get to move in today. Also, because of the coronavirus restrictions, we can't bring anyone with us, obviously. So, either I'm gonna have to move all this stuff by myself up to the second floor to my classroom, or maybe some people there will see me and help me out. I don't even know how close we can get. I'm sure we have to socially distance, um, but maybe people can help me out. We'll see. Um, otherwise, I'm going to get a great workout today. I uh, haven't done that in a while, so I'm excited. I will update you later. I honestly don't even know where to start. I'm actually a little glad that we have to be six feet apart um, because it is very hot and sweaty, especially when you're wearing masks. And I think the temperature has been lowered in the building for possibly COVID reasons. But <laughs> I just moved everything from my old classroom into my new classroom and from my car up into the classroom. I think I've spaced all the tables enough, um, but it's kind of a mess in here. All of the other fifth grade teachers have left for the day. It's, I don't know, like 1230ish. Um, I'm probably gonna stay for a while. I'd like to organize and get things figured out. And the teacher that I'm replacing who retired left a ton of stuff in all these cabinets. And so I would like to eventually go through that and see what I want and what I don't want. But we'll see how much I get done today. I'll show you a little bit of the room so far. So like I said, I think the desks are far enough apart. I measured the squares on the floor. Four squares is a little more than six feet. And I figured since like actually really the chairs just need to be six feet apart, right? Because the kids aren't as big as the entire table. So technically just that needs to be six feet, right? <laughs> um, yeah, and this room is actually, I think, a lot bigger than my old one, which is nice. I think I have so much more wall space than the other classroom, which is awesome. Um, I'm really excited about that because my last classroom, it was really hard to figure out where to put anything because I had like no wall space. So I figured I'd put my teacher desk over there because I'm not going to put a student desk there because then they won't be able to see the screen. And then I tried to leave enough space up in the front where I can stand and be six feet away from them. Um, so I have this shelf that the teacher left as well as this blue one and she left these awesome mailboxes. They're like really nice. Um, and I have three bookshelves from my old classroom that I think I'm just going to put on this wall if I need more room for books. I put these little cubby things over here. Um, and then I have some other storage. I had these metal mailboxes from my last classroom and so I just put them over there. I figured I'd use them 
for paper or something. And then I have all this stuff just lying around. Um, no idea what I'm gonna do with that, but that's where I'm at today. So um, as I was trying to take something out of the cupboard over there, I cut myself. Uh, and it looked a little dramatic uh, when it first happened. There was blood all over my hand, but then I washed it off and then it was pretty much fine. It had stopped bleeding, but I put a band-aid on anyway, just in case. All right, um, it's been a few hours. I pretty much got all my books into the bookshelves and I put all the shelves on the wall and I think they're in the place that they're going to stay. Um, and that's pretty much all I've done so far. I still need to go through all of the old teacher's stuff, which honestly is a little draining. Like I don't wanna have to do that. And I kinda wish I was just starting fresh, but at the same time, I should be really thankful because there's probably a lot of resources in there that I can use. Um, it's about like two o'clock now, and I thought maybe I'd go get something to eat because I haven't eaten anything yet. Um, and then maybe I'll come back, maybe I'll go home, um, we'll see but I'll show you kind of what I did. So I put all of my books on the shelves, all the ones that I had brought home over the summer and reorganized and labeled. Over here are all of my nonfiction books. I realized I don't have a lot. Once I put them out, I was like, oh yeah, that's not very many. Um, but I still need to go through the old teacher's books, so hopefully she has some nonfiction books that I can take. I also put that thing together, kind of put all these shelves out. I put these two shelves underneath the Clever touch um, to kind of free up some wall space over here. Um, so yeah, now I have the three shelves there and then the two tall guys right there. Um, yeah, everything else is a mess and I don't like it. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go get some food and then maybe I'll come back, we'll see. Hello, I'm back again. It's the next day. Uh, I ended up just going home um, and eating at home and so I didn't come back. I live like half an hour away from school. So I didn't drive back, but um, yeah, I was really hot and sweaty and tired anyway. So um, that makes sense to me. But I am back again today. This morning we had like a new employee um, Zoom orientation thing all morning. So I just did it from my classroom. Um, and I was really happy to meet a bunch of people that I was never formally introduced to because I got hired by the district at the end of last year, um, but I was never really formally introduced to everyone and the, the school and the policies and procedures and stuff. So it was nice to have some sort of formal um, orientation. Today I came prepared um, because what I learned yesterday is to wear shorts because it was so hot. Um, but today uh, it's really cold and so now I'm cold and I had worn a tank top and shorts and I'm glad that I brought um, a cardigan because otherwise I would be freezing right now. Um, maybe if I start moving it'll get a little hotter but it is, I feel like it's not as hot as yesterday at all. But yeah, I haven't really done anything <laughs> yet. Um, I opened up a bunch of drawers and I would like to do something with them. But honestly, how I'm feeling right now is like all the big stuff has been put in place, which is the stuff that I think I enjoy organizing and putting together. And now it just feels like overwhelming. There's way too much stuff. Like I said, I have to go through all the stuff that the old teacher left and it just feels like just really overwhelming. Like, I don't even know where to start. I don't know what any of her stuff was and I don't really feel like looking through it. Um, and then all of my stuff is kind of all over the place, so I'm not really sure where to start or how I even want to organize things. I just don't know anything. So I think I just need to stack my stuff in different categories of piles or something and maybe move all of the old teacher stuff into one area so that I, I can go through it at my leisure, but it's not really urgent right now. So maybe I'll just move it on over so then I have more space for my stuff and then I can deal with all that at a later date because that stuff doesn't need to happen before school starts. Today I realized that I still need to put together my Google Classroom um, because, I don't know if I've explained this yet, but my school is having two options for kids. So either they can do a completely online school and that's, you know, for the whole year. So if they choose that, it's the whole year. Um, otherwise they're in this fluid model where, you know, depending on where the state is and the county is, um, we will either be in person fully, virtual full time, or in the blended model where half of your kids come Monday, Tuesday, 
Um, Wednesday's a planning day, and then Thursday, Friday, the other half of the kids come. And that's how we're starting the year. So the time that the kids are at home, they're, they're still supposed to be learning through Google Classroom. Um, so all of our lessons are gonna be video, whether the kids are in person or online. Um, and so I still need to set up a Google Classroom and things for the kids to do when they're at home. Um, so I'm like, that's something to do as well as put this whole classroom together. Something that I've been trying to think about too is um, something I really wanted to implement and I did implement it last semester with my kids when we were still in person um, and I was planning on doing this year was I like to do small groups in math just so I can work more individually um, and have like math centers for the kids to do. But I'm not really sure if we'll be able to do small groups now that I'm in the classroom and looking at the space we have and knowing how far six feet actually is, I don't know if I'll be able to actually have a small group of kids within six feet. I think you could do individual conferences, but that would take too long. Um, I'm gonna try to measure out on the floor to see how much space that would actually take up to have a small group of kids six feet apart with me in a small group, but I just don't know if it's gonna be possible. And if it's not possible, it's a little sad because I was really looking forward to that and I think that it helps me individualize a lot better and just meet the kids where they're at. But if I can't do that, I guess that's no big deal. Um, I'll figure it out. I also really want to implement morning meeting this year. Um, and I'm not really sure if we'll be able to have like a morning meeting space or if all the kids will just have to sit at their desks and we'll do morning meeting, which will be fine if we have to. But it's just like a lot of things that I was thinking about over the summer and having a hard time planning for because I wasn't really sure what school was actually going to be like. So now that I'm here in the space and feeling what it's like and seeing what it's like, it's kind of like reality is hitting me a little bit and trying to figure out how could I actually make this stuff work. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm going to try to do something today and uh, I'll update you later. So I just opened up all of these drawers and cabinets um, just so I can visualize what's there in the space. So like I said, I kind of want to take all the stuff that she had and maybe consolidate it to one cabinet or drawer. Um, there's also a lot of her stuff in these bottom cabinets as well and over here. So I might tackle that today and like I said as well, you can see all my stuff just scattered about. So I'm gonna get going on that. Also, each grave level is in its own like section in the building, in its own pod, and they're all named by like a continent. And so fifth grade here is Europe, and then each classroom is like their own country. And I was told today that I get to pick what country that I am. Um, the old teacher that was here was Ireland. Um, which isn't bad at all, but they said that I could change it if I wanted to, and I kind of wanted France because I really want to go to France, but one of the other teachers already has France, so I picked Iceland. Um, shout out to Anna and Miles if you're watching this. Um, I thought of you, but it was the one that stood out to me the most, and I would love to go there. It sounds beautiful and amazing, um, but yeah, so I'm going to be Iceland. So I'm basically like the president of Iceland now. Um, and the principal should be coming around to put my nameplate up soon. I'm really nervous actually videoing this. So literally, as I was saying, I'm nervous because the principal might be coming around um, and that I'm nervous to be filming because I don't want someone to come and see me. The custodian showed up and I dropped the camera like immediately because I was really embarrassed and it's weird. Um, but yeah, I was also nervous because I don't want the principal to come around and see me. But he also caught me taking a selfie of myself in a mask because we need like a picture to put in our back to school night um, slides. And so I was taking like a mask selfie and a non-mask selfie and I wanted to be very clear to him that I was doing it for school reasons. Like, ah, oh, it's just so embarrassing. But speaking of the custodian, she's amazing. Like literally so helpful, anything you need. I try to be very, low maintenance but i needed like a couple things and she was like on board right away immediately helping me no matter what she was doing if she was doing something else she like drops what she's doing to help you it's and i try to be like it's okay like you don't have to do it right now like thank you so much so this shelf that the old teacher left um initially only had two shelves in it um so it was only in three sections and i really wanted to put the, the third shelf in to make a fourth section 
um, cause I could fit more books on it, um, but I couldn't find the metal pieces to put the shelf on. And I swore I had seen them somewhere. Like I thought I saw them in the old teacher desk in here and I thought, I remember thinking, oh, those must be just desk parts or something. And so I just left them. And so then they switched out the old teacher's desk with mine that was in my old classroom and so they took it away and so then i was like oh i need those metal pieces and we couldn't find them anywhere so they're putting all of the furniture they don't need into my old classroom because no one's using it and so it's just full of furniture stacked up and the desk was in the back corner behind like all this furniture and so i even like went in there and i crawled underneath all the furniture to look through the drawers and it wasn't there the custodian caught me doing that and she's like what are you doing you don't have to do that we could have moved them i'm like i don't want to make you move stuff like that's such a hassle like you don't need to do that um but she ended up I guess going back in there and looking in the desk so she must have moved stuff to look like she's so helpful but we couldn't find them and yesterday she told me that she had extras somewhere and so today I found her and I asked her about that she's like oh yeah let me go look and again she was doing something and she dropped what she was doing to find them and she found one metal piece somewhere that I could use so but she didn't have all four and I was like don't worry about it like Seriously, it's not a hassle. I really don't need that right now because I guess it was going to take them a while to find some more. And I was like, don't worry about it. She left for like five minutes, comes back, and she's like, oh, I found some. She's amazing. So now I have my four sections on my bookshelf. I'm so happy, and I wish I could buy her a million presents to show my appreciation. And I just want her to know that she's amazing, and she does not need to drop everything she's doing to help me. But she does. <sighs> yeah. Update on my smashed finger from yesterday. I'm not giving you the finger warning, um, but I don't know how to make it focus. But look at that. Gross. It actually kind of weirds me out because the skin didn't like come off when it got cut. It just kind of stayed as a flap and then it like just con reconnected back on top of the cut. And I'm sorry if this is super gross, like skip ahead if it is, but like that weirds me out. I wish it would have just ripped off and then it would have been like an open wound because this this whole in-between fake healed, but you can see all the blood is just really weirding me out. Oh yeah, one other thing we learned today that's a little weird, but I guess cool, is we're getting these like humanity shields for all the teachers, which are kind of like a face shield, but then they have like the, the neck covering. So we're getting those sometime so kids can see our faces but they you look like you're an astronaut like it's so strange and I was also thinking I touch my glasses a lot to push them up and I don't know if I'll be able to do that wearing one of those so I don't know if wearing glasses is going to be super annoying and if I should just not wear glasses but yeah so that's another tidbit that I learned today all right I have procrastinated organizing all this stuff long enough so I'm gonna start now for real and I will actually update you on my progress later if I actually make any progress. So, peace. Hello, I am back again today. Um, I must, I seem like I'm the only teacher at the school who wants to work at school. I guess technically we're still on summer break. So maybe they're just trying to enjoy the rest of their summer, but I want to get things done and not be super stressed out next week. So I'm here. Also, the whole summer I've been looking for things to do. Like, I don't understand how teachers just have the whole summer off and not do anything. Like, I always want to be, like, learning something or growing in something. So it was, like, really hard for me this summer. I was, like, a little bored and wanted more to do. So I'm glad to be here. But, yeah, I feel like I'm the only one who keeps showing up. <laughs> and the custodians keep seeing me. And I keep using the garbage cans. And they're probably sick of me doing that because then they have to come to my room and clean them out but today is friday so it'll be the last day of the week that i'm here next week we start like staff in service we will have two work days before the kids come but other than that we will have a bunch of in-service days and pd to do um which is all going to be on zoom this year we can be in our classroom or we can be at home i'm definitely going to be in the classroom so that when we're not in a meeting i can be doing stuff in the classroom um, but so yeah, I'd like to get a lot done today so that next week I can focus more on what we're learning and have to do next week. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to be here. Today I need to work on a back to school night slideshow 
um, because we're not having an in-person back to school night. So they made us like a template that I just need to go plug in some stuff. Um, and then I'm gonna get back to work on the organizing of the small things that I started yesterday. Um, maybe I'll set up my Google Classroom. Yeah, that's it really. All right, so I think I made some good progress. I still don't like that there's a ton of stuff in the cabinets that isn't mine, um, but I did kind of like consolidate a lot of the old teacher stuff into like one big cabinet. So it's like, if I ever need anything or I'm looking for an idea or something or a resource, I can go into that cabinet and look around. But otherwise, if I don't want to be doing that, then I can kind of ignore that cabinet. I thought that was a pretty decent idea. I also don't really want like an American flag above my desk. Like I don't know if that's like a weird thing to not want or if people usually want those things in the classroom. But that was left there again by the old teacher and I kind of want to take it down but I don't know if that would be bad. <laughs> I don't know if the other teachers would notice and then like think I'm unpatriotic or something. Um, I kind of want to do that. <laughs> I'd rather just put a plant up there or something. There's a hook, so. I moved my desk around so that if I'm working at it, I can see if people are coming in or walking by. Um, I also put most of my stuff away in the cabinets. I took out all the other books that were left in the cabinet and I'm gonna go through those and label them and stuff so I can add them to my library. I went through a bunch of nonfiction books and labeled them, and so my nonfiction section's coming along now. I emptied out this cabinet, added some storage areas for just paper, more paper. <laughs> I have like my laminator in there and then just random supplies. I figured we're not gonna be able to share pencils, so using my sharp, not sharp buckets is not gonna work this year. Over here was where the old teacher had all our math stuff, and I actually thought that stuff would maybe be useful to me, so I just left it there. I had no problem with that. Again, here she had like reading and writing stuff, and I figured I can just leave that there. This is like extra supplies, so there's a bunch of paper and like those uh, plastic sheets or whatever they're called, and then just like a bunch of random folders, notebooks, binders, and stuff. Here's the extent of what was mine um, from the last classroom, so I have like a bunch of extra storage. A bunch of these binders are empty, some of them have like assessment stuff in them. I have the reading and writing curriculum, a couple of books that I've bought, um, I have a math center in there, I have some mini erasers, and again some empty storage space, <laughs> and then again more storage. So I don't have a lot of stuff. And then, like I said, I just kind of put her stuff in here. Those games were given to me for Christmas, so those are mine. <laughs> but the rest of this is all hers, and I just stuck it all in this cabinet. This cabinet is hers as well, but I didn't really feel like moving it. I'm probably not even going to use this cabinet, so I figured it was fine to just leave it as is. So yeah, really all I need to do for the classroom part is like look through all these books, see if I want to label them and put them on the shelf. I want to relabel the mailboxes because I'm only gonna have 19 students. I don't really like how they're labeled right now. No offense to her, but I just, I'd rather it be different. <laughs> I also think that um, since it's on top of a tall bookshelf, I might wanna just start it from the bottom up. Just, I don't know how tall the kids are, <laughs> so I don't know if they'll be able to reach all the way up here. I might be underestimating their height. I can't remember how tall they were, so. I have nothing in these. I have like some different kinds of paper in the first four slots here, but other than that, I have nothing in those storage areas. These bottom ones still have a bunch of her stuff in them, and then I added supplies into this one, but other than that, those two are empty, so yeah, I didn't really fill it up that much. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I feel good about the classroom, I guess. All I really have to do is the books and figure out if I want to get rid of this American flag. Um, and then maybe relabel those mailboxes, but then I'll be done with the actual organization of the classroom, I think, and then I'll get to spend all my time finalizing my procedures and figuring out the first couple weeks of school in my Google Classroom. Um, so I'm happy that I got a lot of this done so I don't have to worry about that later. One thing from last year, since this desk is the desk I had in my room last year, um, I had like a candy drawer. Um, and I went in there and there's like a ton of candy, like way more than I remember. And I don't know if candy goes bad, 
but I'm just gonna hold on to it. Um, I'm sure all the chocolate probably tastes like fruity candy now, which is kind of a bummer, but I have a ton of it. Like, tons of Jolly Ranchers, Starburst, Starburst, these chocolates, multiple chocolates. Um, for some reason, kids only like Jolly Ranchers and they don't like anything else in this drawer. So if you know any other candies that kids really like other than Jolly Ranchers, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep buying Jolly Ranchers because it's the only thing they seem to like. So yeah, thanks for listening to me as I had my first week back at school. Um, it was a good time. I feel good about what I've gotten done. I feel good just being here finally again. Um, and I'm excited for next week to start in service and PD and stuff. I know a lot of people don't like that, but I kind of do. So I'm looking forward to that. Tune in next time to see if I remove this American flag um, and what happens to the rest of my books. See you later. Thank you.